This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2019. Approximately 15% of the U.S. population are affected with an adult spinal deformity, with lumbar scoliosis being the most common type reported. This deformity is difficult to treat, and the effectiveness of operative versus non-operative treatments remains unclear. A multi-center study was conducted at nine medical centers in North America to assess the benefits and outcomes of operative and non-operative treatment for symptomatic adult lumbar scoliosis. The study included randomized and observational cohorts of patients between the ages of 40 and 80 years who had a Cobb angle of greater than or equal to 30 degrees. Operative treatment included instrumented spinal fusion, while non-operative treatment included physical therapy, spinal injections, oral analgesics, and other treatments. Although results demonstrated greater quality of life improvements in the operative group, two years post-treatment, the group also experienced a higher number of adverse events. 14% required revision surgery, and one death resulted from surgical complications. Despite these adverse events, patients in the operative group still showed greater improvements than those in the non-operative group, and many patients originally assigned to non-operative care crossed over to the operative group. While the as-treated analysis showed better outcomes for operative treatment at two years, the same was not observed in the intention-to-treat analysis. Thus, study findings suggest that patients with adult symptomatic lumbar scoliosis who are satisfied with their spinal health may be advised to undergo non-operative treatment with the understanding that improvement is unlikely. Surgery should be advised selectively to patients who are not satisfied with their current spine-related health and expect improvements.